Hey, hi guys, this is Vivek and this particular video is going to be a little different from what goes on on my channel, right? This is regarding Algosign CCP program and that is something that I've been running from the last year onwards and the last tenure was really awesome. Now this particular year also we are having a new start for a new tenure and we, like we are calling in for new leads from different campuses. So this particular video is, is going to be about the opportunity in this particular thing and how exactly this can help you to kind of shape things that in your life and in your campus, right? First of all, what is Algosign CCP program, right? So Algosign CCP program is a social initiative, right? That is uh, to build a community where uh, like we want to build some awesome club-like culture at different colleges in India. Now, when you think about like big colleges, right? Most of these big colleges have a really good talent pool and the students are really skilled and that's why they are getting good placements because of the clubs that they have. These clubs nurture the first year, second year students in a nice way so that they are really trained to kind of get into their fields that they want to and they have really good resources that they provide to the juniors so that they can amp up their skills at the correct point in time. So this is what we want to do for many many colleges in India and what we want to do is uh, like we want to build a small team internally who are the leads from different campuses so that we can build this at, the, at their campuses and make sure that they can leverage this, the power that we kind of put in into these and build a really good culture in their campuses. So if you're someone who wants to be a lead at your campus, this is your chance. You can actually apply for this and be a lead and make this change happen in your campus. So let's talk about what will be your responsibilities because I think many students be Acha Vivek, uh, do I need to sell something in my campus and stuff because uh, there are many many campus ambassador programs that run in all over India uh, which buy many edtech companies. Uh, what I feel is like a lot of those are more like a sales intern rather than being a actual campus ambassador where you want to change something in those campus. Uh, AZ CCP is always going to be free forever and there is going to be no sales asked from you at any point in time. So you never have to sell any course from Algosynis or any other platform ever in your life, number one. Number two, you would never have to direct any student, Kiacha, you have to buy this and all these things ever. There is no incentive on that even to the, to the leads, right? So it's, it, there is no sales po uh, point, of, point of view for this. Uh, it's actually pure social initiative. So there is, this, is, this is a separate division of Algosynis all the way, right? and uh, like it's going to be 100% free forever for everyone. Now uh, setting up campus teams is what you have to do and you have to make sure that these things can be pumped up in your campuses. So we have a lot of different resources, free, all of these things free. All of these things are going to be free, free resources, free workshops, hackathons and stuff that we want to kind of communicate to many different campuses in India. And what you have to be is you, your representative, you are going to be the representative of your campus and you have to make sure that these reach to your students in a really nice way so that they can get skilled up and actually be ready when they have to use these skills in their internships and placements, right? There are going to be plenty of events and opportunities that you have to participate in yourself and then you have to make sure that the students also participate in. And uh, you also have to just enjoy being part of this community, right? And I feel many of the students find it very difficult to be part of some good community where many of the students have potential but due to not being selected in the communities, they find it very difficult to get this leadership position at times. So this is your chance also for that, right? Now, uh, we don't want you to get we don't want you to work for free, right, on anything, right? That is, we want to put in a lot of resources to help a lot of students get skilled up, but we don't want you to work for free. So there's going to be a lot of perks for you if you join as a CCP lead. First one is going to be a mentorship program that we run internally in Algozenith that is going to be accessible to all the CCP leads. So there are 300 plus mentors on Algozenith who can, who you can reach out to at any point in time and get your doubts clarified. Now these are people who are already in big product-based companies and th there are some which who are already right now in third, fourth years. So anybody who is going to be a lead is going to have an access to them. Uh, I'm a mentor myself and there are many more people um, in the mentor, in the core mentor team and the, there is an extended mentor team as well. Uh, and you're gonna have an access to that, right? The next thing is networking. So you're gonna have a network with all the different CCP leads from different campuses. So last year we had 30 plus campuses in, in different places and all of that went really well, right? Now, uh, when you have the, this network, there are different opportunities that pops up in different campuses and you would be first person to know in your campus that, hey, this is there in that campus, maybe I should grab that and get a benefit of that, right? So that is something that is going to be there. Uh, now, there are also many events and hackathons that we uh, host 
offline, right? Very similar to like if you know about GDSC and stuff, there are similar e offline events that we also want to host at different places. So you have to be the representative of the your campus, and you will have the representation and at that and those in those events, right? Uh, so that is something. What we also feel is we provide a lot of exclusivity. It's not like a like some campus ambassador program that you would see from other places. This is absolutely different, and there is so much more to this than just being uh, just selling or doing things like that, right? There is so much big power in community if you think about it, right? Uh, there is going to be a lot of team support as well. So there is going to be, so you will have to recruit a small core team in your campus so that you can actually deliver these things to the proper people. And for all of you guys, there's going to be goodies and stuff that will be dispatched. You being lead, you will have a little more benefits. But again, the whole core team would be incentivized in a proper way with goodies and stuff. So that is obviously there for you guys, right? And then there are many more, like the top leads get referral recommendations and different things are obviously there for all of you guys, right? So. The joining link for this particular program is in the first comment. Uh, it's going to be pinned over there. So you can go over there, go to the website, join if you want to and check out the other programs. Definitely check out the other leads videos because they have told how their experience looked like in the last tenure. And I think that was really phenomenal. I think we have, we did something really great in the last tenure, uh, could change some of these campuses to a great degree. And uh, even these, uh, like leads who were already there in the last time, they had a really good experience, right? So go check out those videos. And then if you want to be the lead, get into that form and then fill it up, right? This is your one chance to be in a leadership position to build a team and actually bring a difference to your own campus in your own college. So if you want to be there, just apply to the form and see you in the internal sessions, right? So if you're selected, we'd having a lot of internal sessions and stuff, uh, some here and there talking about multiple different things. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much about the opportunity. So if you're interested, fill it up. That's all from my side today in this particular video. And see you in the next some video where we'll talk about any new interesting ideas and stuff in competitive programming in DSA. That's what I primarily talk about on this channel if you're new to this. And if you're new, obviously subscribe and like, like this video so that you can be benefited with more such opportunities and DSA and learning resources, right? So that's all that's going to be from my side. See you all in the next video. Bye-bye.